Whoa, this classroom is also way bigger than anything we had in Pallet Town. Over in Pallet Town. I had to make sure the mic was still working. So this is what a probably fun classroom looks like. I wonder if I can find some people I know here. I see some I see someone vaguely familiar vaguely familiar sitting in the back of the room. I think he's in my homeroom class. Yep, that is Hilbert. 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 I wonder who I wonder <laughs> Hold on. Is he looking at me? I wonder who's I wonder who's that girl he's talking to. They look like they're talking about something pretty serious. Well apparently she, apparently so she has to close one of her eyes. Morning students. What's with the shovel and cloak? It reminds me of a cartoon character I saw on a TV once. I'm barring your steel class teacher. Some of you might already know me. For those that do, you are familiar with my teaching methods and know that I won't allow any dawdling or belly aching in this classroom. If you want to succeed in a Pokemon field and beyond that, a weak character and lack of confidence will only serve as a crippling, a crippling liability. This could be common sense, but your generation seems to like it. In this day and age, it's all about hard work. I can, I can guarantee if you work hard and preserve through the hardships in life, there's nothing you can't do. But that's easier said than done. Like still Pokemon, you have to be resilient, determined, not too, not too forceful to the point of antagonizing others. Be tough and guarded, but not to the point where you start putting up walls. I apologize for starting off the class on such a serious note, but I just wanted to let you. I just want you all to know that. That's the most absurd thing I've ever heard. Whoa there, Hilbert. Shh. What was that? Uh, nothing. He was just asking for something. Yeah, why is this cla class looking like a load of Hilbert? Shut up! Those two are bickering like a those two are bickering like a married couple. I can't tell if they're really close or just get on each other's nerves. You two, what are your names? Hilda, sir. Hilbert. Hilda and Hilbert. If you have something on your mind, say it now. No, there is nothing on our mind. Right, Hilbert. Right. Hmm, alright. But keep the noise level down. Disrupting the class will affect your grade. Yes, sir. You always do this. When are you going to stop treating me like? Their voices trail, I trail off, but I can't hear what they're saying anymore. That's one heck of a way to get a teacher to notice you on the first day. Can't remember if Byron's... If Byron's... No, he's fourth gen. I was thinking second... I was thinking fifth gen. But the only person who carried around a shovel in fifth gen was Clay, and he was a ground-type leader. Well, now, now that the formalities are through, let me take attendance. Jasmine? Is Jasmine here? Hmm, these kids these the kids these days don't appreciate education. Keep in mind that having more than two unexcused absences will result in a failing grade. Personally, I wouldn't even allow one, but that's the school's policy. Only two absences? That's pretty strict, but I'm basing this on other schools back in Kanto, so my opinion's rather moot here. Thanks to the no show from ja from this Jasmine girl, Byron lectured us for, lect for the rest of class. Mind numbing stuff. I'm hoping we can actually learn about Pokemon in this class and not just focus on building character. Remember everything I told you today. Dismiss. That took a little longer than expected. It is it is the first class though, so it'll probably stop feeling like that once we get into a groove. Next is gym class. Weird. I don't remember getting any gym uniforms in the mail or anything. Maybe it's one of those battle simulation things. <laughs> da -da -da, da -da -da. So this is the gymnasium. I wonder if this is the official gym sanctioned by the Pokemon League. Most likely not. There hasn't been any mention of mention of something like this on brochure and it's on school property. I think it's safe to assume that I get, I think it's safe to assume it's simply an 
Another fancy room in the Academy's collection. Though other than some old banners lining the walls, this place is barren and compared to the others. However, if it really is like the official gems, then that means Pokemon battles might take place here. I see Caleb, Serena, and Sharon sitting down quietly. They look like they're discussing something important. No doubt other than no doubt about that student council idea they had before. Sean is here too. <laughs> No, she doesn't seem really interested in the conversation. Close to them are Leaf and May. I can't hear what they're talking about, but they sure look like they're having fun. <laughs> Speaking of fun, I like leanness. I was wondering when that was going to come in. I was planning on doing that. I am pleased I can recognize a few faces now. Yes, the ones to the left you recognize. You may recognize another one here later on. Um, I'm pleased I can recognize a few faces now. Over on the other side, I can see Cody leaning back against his seat. It's kind of weird seeing him sitting alone like that. You think a guy like him would try to surround himself with as many people as possible by now. I feel to end up like him over there. I'm going to do. I'm going to go over and sit by Caleb and the others. <clears throat> yes, right. Settle down. Are these guys our teachers? The guy on the left definitely looks like look definitely looks like one. But the other guy looks like one of those mountain herbits you hear on TV. Welcome to gym class. I'm Alder and he's Bruno. We'll be here in gym and we'll, we'll be your instructors for this year. Now I bet you're all wondering what you'll actually be doing in this class. Well, be just like the other gym classes you've probably taken in your other schools. Except we're not going to make you change into shorts and play sports. In this school, we focus on more on training Pokemon, not your bodies. But training your body is important too. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> anyway, the real reason why the school has a gym class like this is to prepare you kids for the real Pokemon gyms after you graduate. At least for those interested in tackling the league. Can any of you tell me why gyms exist in the first place? Oh, it's gotta be something like a role model, right? Like for other trainers to look up to. That sounds plausible, but I always thought that gyms were established to serve as proving grounds for upcoming trainers. That's dumb. As far as I know, gyms are just a pain in the rear. Nuh uh, do you even know how much bench press equipment costs? You need to use that thing for like a decade before it starts paying for itself. I'm talking about Pokemon gyms, you idiot. Right, very good. Alright, very good guesses, but the main purpose for, of gym is to allow trainers who are less experienced to test their skills against more experienced ones or even footing. And that's what we're going to be doing in this class. Wait, you're telling us that we're going to be Pokemon battling in this class? Precisely. Though we, don't, though we won't be diving into that right away. First, we need to review the basics. Y'all basically trying to learn new things that sometimes you forget the most rudimentary skills rudimentary skills what are you going to teach us how to catch Pokemon or something yes that is very part that is yes that's a very important part of the curriculum sheesh even if some of you think you have everything you need to know about Pokemon battle trust me when I say you don't we've been in this field a lot longer than you have and even we still don't have it down perfectly haha <laughs> I reflectively I reflectively glance over at Cody as expected, he seems a bit irked by what Alder just said. I hope he doesn't make a scene like he did in the homeroom. Oh, excuse me for rambling on like that. Uh, Bruno, why don't you tell me tell them more about this class? Very well. This gym was first and foremost designed to be a training ground for students, and as such, it is available for free after class hours. Just bring your student ID, and you receive unlimited access to its facilities. In addition to the exercise machines available, the gym also contains several battle simulators to allow students to experience what a live Pokemon match would feel in real time. Excuse me, simulators? So you're saying there won't be any live Pokemon matches here? Life matches? You can hold battles here if you wish, but most take place in the battle hall. Unfortunately, unless you're on the school's competitive battling team, you will not be allowed access into it. Battle team sounds like something right up Cody's alley. What's this battle team about? Our school has a competitive battling team for students who wish to take their Pokemon training to the next level. It's a very selective club, so don't even think so don't think about signing up so quickly. Oh yeah? What does it take to get in there? Even after you've joined mock battles between club members take place daily, 
to determine whether you are not fit, whether you, whether or not you are fit to remain on the team. Ha, huh, that's easy. Be careful what you say, Argus' strength is not going hand in hand. I'm telling you it'll be a piece of cake. Who's in charge of the team? I am. Wait, who is this guy? He looks familiar. I can't remember exactly from where. Maybe on TV? But just by looking at him, I'm sure anyone can tell that this guy is really important. Cody should watch his tone of voice around him. Being accepted to the battle team is one of the highest honors a student can receive in this school. It's not to be taken lightly. <clears throat> Lance, how long have you been standing there? I was just passing by. It's been a while, Bruno. Alder? Hi, it is indeed. Oh, why am I matter? Students, this is Lance, the advisor of the battle team. Pleased to meet you all. So, the, so these are the new students that came in? They look quite capable. I expect great things from all of you. While I was a freshman at the school, I... Hey, you're the guy running the battle team? Yes, and you should heed the advice of Alder and Bruno. For someone currently at your level, it'd be possible impossible to get in. What did you say? Here we go. Just because you're an upperclassman doesn't mean you can look down on me. I am not an upperclassman, nor am I looking down on you. I am simply stating the facts. Anyway, I'm in a hurry. I have business to attend to, and I cannot be late. All right, it was good seeing you again, Lance. Like, likewise, take care, Alder, Bruno. Is this guy really just going to walk out without saying anything else? I glance at him again. I know how seriously Cody takes his pride, so that must have done a number on him. But he has to learn to take it easy one of these days. You heard him. The battle team is serious business. After all, it wasn't luck that our school has produced the most world champions, elite four members, and holds the record for most wins at the national tournament. You heard right. The top students represent Kobukon Academy and face off against students from other schools during the live, during the Pokemon League season. I think I'd fake from stage fright if I had to do something like that in front of all those people. You do know that you have to get on the team first to even consider doing something like that, right? But anyway, you shouldn't worry about things like that. There are much more important things to take care of, after all, like graduating on time. <laughs> hmm, I suppose we can move on to the weight machines. Bruno, would you mind giving them students a little, a little demo? Not at all. After about 30 minutes of watching Bruno go through every machine without breaking a sweat, I realized that maybe I should look after my body a bit more. I haven't really been taking the greatest care of my body, but seeing how much stuff there is in the gym makes me think of how, that now this now would be a good time to start. Okay, that's enough for one day, students. Next class, we'll talk about the basics of Pokemon battling and how to deal with Pokemon in the wild. So I'm guessing Alder is the one with the wisdom. Bruno's the one who has brute strength. <clears throat> It'll be review, but don't underestimate the intricacies of the basics. Right, well then, so long students. Enjoy the rest of your day. Next on my schedule is lunch. Once gym class starts getting serious, I really appreciate having the chance to fill up on food from after some physical activity. I'm not feeling too hungry right now though. Maybe I'll nibble on something from a vending machine or something along the way to the cafeteria. <clears throat> Dang, where do they keep vending machines around this place? I can't seem to find a single one. Looking for something, Rashad? Oh, Serena, what are you doing all the way out here? I'm waiting to group up with Sharon and Caleb. Won't you join us? Uh, sure, I don't have anything better to do. Good. They should be down the hall and... Oh, there they are. There's Serena. Oh, and Rashad too. Hey guys, so everyone's on their way to the cafeteria? Not yet. There's some things I would like to discuss first. What things? Do you remember that talk we had about the student council? Yeah, I remember. Are you guys still planning on joining? Yes, we are. In order to prepare efficiently, we need to research the student council first to know exactly what the process is. 
there's still a lot we don't know about the actual qualification and paperwork, so we're here going so we're going to research that over the next week or so. A week is perhaps a bit too long. I don't doubt the longer we wait, the less likely we'll get a see our own council. We have to act now. I'll be direct with you, Rashad. Are you interested in joining us? I know I never agreed to the idea last time this was brought up, but maybe I should think it over seriously. Huh? I thought the I thought the student council was a little intimidating when they first brought it up, but maybe this is something I still I want I'd want to see through. I think I'd be missing out on a big opportunity if I said no to these guys reaching out to me. Actually, I think I am interested after all. Sharon seems really pleased at my answer. Kim and Serena do too. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> I didn't think you were that kind of person, Rashad. Oh, how exciting. He looked genuinely pleased. Perhaps this decision helps them more than I thought. There's a lot of business we need to take care of. But there's nothing we wouldn't be able to handle, I'm sure. <clears throat> we should put this conversation aside for later. The cafeteria should be getting close to the pack by now. <sighs> Dang, I think I left one of my textbooks back in class. That's unfortunate. Let's go back and get it. It's fine, I can get it myself. You guys go on ahead. Really, it won't, go it won't be any trouble just to go back for it. The classroom is only a short walk from here. That really won't be necessary. Just go. I'll meet you guys at the cafeteria, alright? Okay, if you say so. <sighs> Serena looks distraught about something. <clears throat> now that I think about it, she's, she looks like she's been on edge for the past few minutes now. You feeling okay, Serena? Huh? Yes, I feel quite fine. What do you ask? It's just I can't help but notice you looking a bit down. Is everything okay? Um, anyone would be able to tell just by looking at your face. Is that so? Did something happen? It's nothing really. Maybe it's just my imagination, but I've recently I feel that he's... What are we talking about here? Hmm... Very well, let's go. I'm positive about who Serena's talking about, and it's real obviously that she's avoiding bringing it up in her presence. I'm kind of flattered that she's being considerate to us. So I hope she might be able to open, us, op open up to us in time. If they do end up in student council together, that may make things really awkward for everyone involved. Serena, uh, uh, whoa. Rashad, are you coming? Oh yeah, my bad, I'm coming. As we we're about to migrate over to the cafeteria, I realized I sat and picked up a snack for myself. Hey, do you guys know where the nearest vending machine? There should be one down this hallway and to the left. Do you want us to come with you? No, that's okay. You guys go on ahead. I'll catch up later. Alright, don't take too long. I'll do that. See you guys later. So, down this hallway and to the left. Simple enough. I'll check your directions. The simplest from the... Oh, fuck! I was walking too fast and ran right into someone turning the corner. It sounded like a girl. Whoa, hey, you okay, dude? Roxy, pay it. You gotta pay attention to what you're doing. Roxy. Oh dear, I'm terribly sorry about that. Are you all right? Hey, you're. These two were up on stage during the orientation speech. Isn't she the student council president? What kind of coincidence is this? Ouch. Looks like you gave him a concussion. He's all mixed up. Turned upside down. Huh? No, no, I'm fine. You don't have to lie to make her happy. Your face is banged up pretty bad. Look at how messed up it is. What? No, this is what I look like. I'm fine, really. Are you sure? You seem to be having difficulty speaking. Uh, it's just that you're... Hmm? You're Roxanne, the student council president, right? Yes, that would be me. Oh, crap. This is probably the worst way to get introduced to someone as scary as her. 
getting on the bad side of the student council president is like signing death warrant for the rest of the year. More importantly, if Sharon, Caleb, and Serena hear about this, or hear about how I completely threw away my chances of getting into student council for such stupid reason, they'd never forgive me. For the future of my life at this academy, I have to make a good impression on her. But the only thing I can think of in this situation is begging for forgiveness. Um, Roxanne? Hmm? I'm sorry for running into you like that. It was completely beneath me as a freshman of the school to disrespect the student council president in such a council careless manner. I'm willing to accept any disciplinary action for my reckless behavior. I bow my head as low as I can to hold that and hold that position until one of them says something. <laughs> Roxanne and the other guy looks like they're they're desperately holding in laughter. <laughs> the other guy is like Try not to die laughing. What's so funny? You are. Wh what did I do? Uh, what did I do? I like this guy. What's your name, kid? Um, I'm Rashad. I'm Brawly. Nice to meet you, Brawly. Hey, hey, why are you being so formal for? You sound like you got something permanently stuck in your throat for crying out loud. Well, you two are upperclassmen, so... So... So I should... You know, treat you like upperclassmen? <laughs> you say some funny things, Rashad. Please, Rashad, treating others differently simply because of seniority does not sit well with us. We are all students of Kobukan Academy, so there should be no barriers. In fact, it would make us much happier if you were to treat us like regular classmates and not your superiors. Is this the same girl that vaporized at years in your or orientation? She, s she seems much more gentle. By the way, where are you headed to now, Rashad? Are you lost or something? It should be your lunch period right now. Is there something we can help you with? Not particular. Whoa, hold on. This looks like an opportunity that comes once in a lifetime. I can't afford to let this slip away. I know we just met and all, but when's the next time I can get a private meeting with the student council president like this? If Sharon finds out I passed up such an opportunity, then you really let me have it. I should choose my words carefully. Uh, ask about the student council. This might be my only shot at getting a head start into the student council, so I can't blow it here. Actually, I've heard some things about the student council, and I'm I'm curious. Can you tell me a bit more about it? Certainly. What do you want to know? Like how you get into office and all that. We didn't have anything like this back at the schools at Kanto. We rarely get fre we rarely get freshmen asking about this kind of stuff so early in the year. You must be really interested. Well, compared to Sharon, my interest is nothing. But I should get as much info as I can so I can pass it on to the others. Yeah, I have some friends who are thinking of joining. So please, anything will help. Well, the school doesn't let just let any student run for office. Your grades need to be in the top 5 percentile of your year in order to qualify as a candidate. And being smart isn't all there is to it. You can't be a butt either. Student council members need to behave like student council members, you know. There is an image to maintain. Right, we, res we represent the entirety of the student body, so we must exhibit the best attributes a student can possibly have. That sounds fair enough. I don't think any of us are really unlikable. I think I trust... Excuse me. I trust we're smart enough to get the minimum GT GTA GPA. <laughs> minimum GTA. Wow. <laughs> mm. Well, at least they are. But what's the actual process of running for a student council position? It's actually quite simple. The school holds elections at the end of every first semester. There is to open to all students that meet the minimum the uh, minimum requirements. If you want to run for office, you must be registered as a candidate with the school. But winning the majority of student votes won't be enough. Current members of the student council may also get a say in who gets to be in office the next year. The only rule is that they can't elect themselves. That would really mess up the system, haha. <laughs> Seems like the student council isn't as difficult as I thought. We might, we might just have a chance here. Thanks, that was a lot of help. <clears throat> I'll definitely pass this on to my to my friends. <laughs> hey, good luck, man. You're going to need it. 
Oh yeah, that reminds me. Roxy, can I get a rain check on the meeting? I forgot I used the. I forgot I promised a photographer. For Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I forgot that I promised the photography guys I helped them out today. Uh, really, Brawly? He just thought let me know in advance if you're going to skip these meetings. I'm tired of apologizing to everyone for you. I'm really sorry. I'll buy you a drink tomorrow. My treat. Hmm. Honestly, I don't know. Sometimes I don't know how you got elected in the first place. I don't know either. Maybe it's because of my dashing good looks. Wait, let me get this straight. Brawly, you're on the student council too? Huh? Oh, that's right. You're new. I was about to get real sad that you recognized Roxy, but not me. But Raleigh's the vice president. Hard to believe, I know. What? He might not look at it, look like it, but he's actually quite diligent in his job. So sometimes I wish he'd take things a little more seriously. Oh, come on. You always know I give 110% when it comes to the council. It's just that sometimes I get a little caught up in other things, you know. Mm-hmm, right. Let's see you explain that to the principal when he asks you why you skipped out on all three preparatory meetings last week. Dang, there were that many? I might, I might be in some deep trouble. <laughs> this guy's the vice president. He seems more like a jock than anything. I really can't see him standing, sitting behind a desk, sifting through papers all day. I swear, this school has some of the... <clears throat> excuse me. This school has some of the most colorful people I've ever met, and it's still only just the first day. Anyway, Rashad, we must be going. It was only a short while, but it was a pleasure meeting you. Likewise. Take it easy, pal. Brawly, the photography club is that way. Er, whoops, looks like I forgot again. Oh, honestly, you could be... Whew, that was scary. I never would have guessed that I'd meet the student council president and vice president right at the beginning of the semester, but I think I consider this a positive encounter. They seem to be enough. They seem to like me enough. I doubt many students would have gotten the opportunity to talk to them so casually like that. But the others must be at the cafeteria already. I don't want to keep them waiting, so I need to hurry. Besides, I can't wait to see the looks on their faces when I tell them about this. <clears throat> we all somehow managed to get a table with enough seats to fit us. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, more like forced it to fit us. The majority of the tables here aren't designed to seat more than four or five students at a time, and we have seven. There's not a whole lot of le leg and arm room left. To be honest, I'm surprised that we're all, I'm surprised that we're all sitting together in the first place. Sharon, Hilbert, their Hil their friend Hilda, they don't seem much of a social group. Hmm. Hilbert, probably. Hilbert seems to seem to want to do his own thing. The exception is their other friend, Bianca, whose personality is like the polar opposite compared to everyone else. Oh yeah, those four from the those four from the you know the region, Serena and Caleb from Kalos, I'm from Kanto. With a group like this, the conversations top topics tend to stray towards schoolwork or current events. It's not especially boring or exciting. It's more like a business meeting than anything. Eventually, I report to Sharon and the others about what Roxanne and Brawley told me earlier at the Academy. I see. That is very helpful information, Rashad. And I am glad you took the opportunity right when it presented to you. I was right to place my trust in you. I still can't believe you, that you managed to extract so much out of the president and vice president so early in the school year. I may have underestimated you. Great work, Rashad. The shower of compliments is too much for me. I feel my face lighting up. I did expect the elections will be open to current student council members. However, with your recent acquaint, uh, acquaintance of Roxanne and Brawley, this may very well play out in our favor. So, you're like friends with Roxanne and Brawley now? Well, I wouldn't consider them friends, but I guess we know each other's names. That's still so cool! I really hope you guys get into the council. Thank you for your encouraging words, Bianca. So, um, have you guys seen the garden up back yet? It's so pretty. Thank goodness for Bianca. I can I can count on her to think to change the topic to something more lighthearted. I seen it from outside, but I haven't been there myself. We should go there sometime. 
I agree. It would it'd be a terrible waste if we didn't. Why? D what does one even do in the garden? I was thinking about... I, th I was thinking of perhaps a picnic of sorts. I hear the center of the garden is a very popular spot for students during the spring and summer. Why not just eat in the cafeteria? It's cheaper, faster, and we don't have to worry about the, my, the wind blowing everything away. It's not the same, Hilbert. Saturday night is 6.30. It's not the same, Hilbert. You're right, it's not. Eating on a table is much better than eating on some dirt and grass. Do you really think that eating in a boring room surrounded by crowds of people is better than eating with your friends in a quiet garden? <clears throat> yes. I have to agree with I have to agree with Hilbert. Caleb, I thought that you of all people would prefer somewhere with less people around. You're not wrong, but I don't quite like the idea of eating food that's so close to the floor. Who knows what's been on the garden grounds? Well, that's just your opinion. What does everyone else think? I'm fine with everything. Me too. So the opinion is still split evenly. What about you, Rashad? They all turn they all turn to me and wait for my response. Do they really expect me to be the deciding vote? If I had to be honest, I think uh Doesn't really matter where you eat. I don't really care where I eat. What's important is the meal itself, not the setting. You put me in the ba Oh! <laughs> I forgot about that comment. <laughs> That's nasty. <laughs> you can put me in the bathroom for all I care, as long as I have food. That was a crude way of putting it, but I agree. Yeah, as long as the food ends up in my tummy, I'm good to go. <laughs> oh, man. So if I would have chose Picnic, I would have earned points with Hilda and Serena, looks like it. So we're still at, so we're still at an impasse. Who cares? You can go and eat wherever you want. I'm done with this conversation. Well, if you wanted to go to the garden anyways, free access to students all day, every day. I was planning on going to get a head start on bugging normal classes. In what way did you plan on getting a head start? I don't know, but I thought I'd maybe take a closer look at my Pokemon. Any of your Pokemon I could find there, so I have something to compare to in class. Is that weird? No, that is a good idea. I was planning on doing something similar. Hee <laughs> hee thanks. This white... Bianca's ditzy personality. She's actually a really diligent student. Almost messed up the screen again. I'll, I'm always messed up the screen. I heard that she faced a lot of opposition before getting into school, especially from her overprotective parents. Actually, her overprotective dad. Who refused to let her enroll. So I really shouldn't be surprised at her determination. Speaking of classes, how do you plan on how how do you all plan on handling your studies? Do you think we should host some sort of study group? Are you concerned about what the teacher said about the graduation rate? Hmm, just a little. There's no need to fret about something like graduating. I have confidence that everyone sitting at this table will have no trouble of graduating. Oh, excuse me. No trouble of graduating on time. What she. What you should be concerned with is how you should spend your time outside of class. Have any, have any of you decided on your extracurricular activities yet? Oh, clubs? Sign up start next week, right? So I don't think we'll be able... If it's for this... Like, if this demo lasts through this whole week, then I don't think we'll be able to get that far yet. But it's a work in progress. Yes, and they run until the beginning of May. So you still have plenty of time to decide. Oh, yay! I was looking at the gardening club, but I wanted to think about it a little more. Have you decided on a club yet, Sharon? I see no need. I'll have my hands full preparing for the student council elections for the next few months. Oh, yeah, that's right. You guys are going to be so busy. Right, but as a backup plan, I plan on joining the art club. It'll be a good way to pass the time and unwind. I've heard from my parents at Kabuka Academy's musicals are so impressive. They can be compared to, they can be compared to professional ones. If possible, I'd like to be able to join their pit orchestra with my violin. 
It must be nice being able to play a musical instrument. All I can play is tennis. Then are you joining the tennis team? This school has a tennis team? Hmm, maybe I am. What about you, Hilbert? <clears throat> I can't play tennis. No, I'm talking about the... <laughs> Hilbert has that sort of personality. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to compare it to, though. No, I'm talking about there are any clubs that you're interested in. Hmm. The battle team sounds all right. I'm not surprised. Do you think? Ha, do you think you have what it takes to succeed there? Why well, wouldn't I? Unless you're doubting my abilities. You know that I don't. I was just curious to hear what you hear your take on the matter. Do you have any clubs in mind, Rashad? Even if you're confident that you'll be elected in the student council, it's still a good idea to have a plan B. Everyone was looking at me like they're waiting for my input. I can't say I have been thinking about clubs, but I don't think it's really how on my priority list at the moment. But since sign-ups are next week, I should start thinking about a club. I'd be interested in... Clubs. Right now, I'm leaning towards... The Theater Club. My mom took me to see a Pokemon musical in Nimbasa City once when I was a kid. It left a huge impression on me. We went to the Unoville region once. I didn't know that. That would be great. I'm curious to find out how they set up the place so meticulously. Yes, the, new the Nimbasa Musical Theater has some excellent showings. Your mother has a very good taste for Shad. Which department are you thinking of joining? Department? You mean like sanitation or... No, like the stage crew, choreographers, pin orchestra? Did you not know about this? It doesn't matter. What's important is your decision to join the club, that's all. By the way, don't forget whatever club you choose. It's your responsibility to keep up your commitment to it. I heard that these clubs are very selective, so attendance is mandatory. The gardening club is nice because they don't care when you come in. Just as long as you think you do, you have a good time. It's when you do, and you have a good time. That's definitely a rare exception. Other clubs won't hesitate to dismiss you if you miss even one of their meetings. And getting dismissed from a club for a si such a silly reason will most definitely damage your academic record and reputation. You can drop out of a club yourself at any time, right? Yes, you can quit the club at any time, but if you're looking to transfer clubs, you have to submit the forms before the cutoff point. So, if I end up in the pit orchestra, and then I end up uh, being selected for the student council, I have to sign up for the student council before the cutoff point. I understand. I, I got you, I got you, I got you. Um, can you put that in easier to understand terms? <sighs> Dang it, Bianca. Okay. Okay, let's say that you wish to switch from gardening club to tennis team. In order to do so, you have to submit your transfer forms to the registration office before the beginning of May, which is the deadline for all club forms. If you submit yours after the deadline, then you will be unable to transfer or join a new club until next semester. Jeez, when did school clubs begin become so intense? Back in middle school, clubs were a place to just hang out with friends and have something to do. But those clubs didn't serve any real purpose back then. I have a feeling that some of the clubs here can teach me some useful skills. I have to think long and hard about whether I want to commit myself to a work intensive club or a laid back one. Hmm, all this talk about clubs is making my head hurt. Let's talk about something else, something fun, like how amazing the food is here. Have you guys ever had anything like this back at home? No, at least nothing close to Kobukan. Some of your fire restaur restaurants that I, don't, I go to don't compare to the food here. The school is also larger than some of the universities we have back in Kalos. How much funding is this school getting anyway? You can thank the results and reputation of the school. Numerous alumni has uh, numerous alumni historically became some of the most renowned trainers and researchers in the world. Really? Like who? Let's see. There's Alder and Bruno teaching our gym class. Lance, Seeming Stone, uh. 
don't forget Cynthia. We casually talk about celebrities as lunch draws to a close. As we get ready to move to our next class, I realize that this is the first time in a while where I've had lunch such an intellectual conversation with a group of friends, at least at school. It's almost a shame to have to go to class, but I can't say I'm not anticipating my next class either. Looks like I have my flying type elective coming up. 